Hey, Paul, number one. So what I see for you on the truth is that you have all these different options and you see these options, but you probably don't know which one to choose from. And it's like life is trying to pour into you like this new, this newness, but it's like you're not accepting it um, probably because you don't know what choice to make. And it's like you've been in a place of really, I want to say isolating yourself, not because of the Corona thing, but just isolating yourself to get you together. But it's like you see yourself having all these options of going all these different ways, but it's like you're not choosing one. Like life is trying to offer you something you are at an emotional standpoint of just this dark confusing depressing place um, most likely because you're not seeing the passion that you have and seeing the influence that you could have changing this world and you just got to realize and understand that you have to move forward living your life and truly understanding mentally that you don't have to fight no more that it's time to let go of the fight and the struggle and to really start realizing that spirit is on your side and God is on your side and that things can work out for you. But it's like you can't fully see that things are working out for you, even though that they kind of are with all these options and stuff. It's like you just not believing in yourself and really letting depression and the battle scars of what you went through get to you, but it's time to realize that you have all these options and it's time to choose one. That you are being, being very determined of moving forward, which is such a beautiful thing to see, um, especially when you are going through a lot of stuff that can keep you stuck. Now, I see that you are being brave with moving forward and allowing things to drift away and just being stern about what you truly want and allowing your wisdom to move you forward forward from what you know but it's like i don't know if you're out here having sex or just horny but um one of the two it's like you got to get it under wraps because you know like when you can have sex too fast in a relationship it can mess things up so that's just um a warning if you are out here having sex um to make you feel better about moving forward and something that has happened that is hurting you and is causing a change in your life it's like you can't get over it by fucking so it's time to make this choice and i see that you know of these choices that you gotta make but it's like you are in a limbo stage where it's like you're not truly knowing which one to choose but it's like you're moving forward but it's like you still have to choose something you are not fully believing in your talents and really putting yourself first and truly believing that you deserve to come first um i see that it's like you know what you want to do you have a passion for it but you're not putting yourself center stage. And maybe that's the decision that you have to make um, and allow this moment to fully happen to get you to the next stage in your life because I see that a lot of changes are happening. You just have to fully go with the change and but it's time to put yourself first. What's up, pile number three? So from what I'm seeing is that you are in a place of not allowing distractions to get to you. It's like you're being very stern in what you want and being fair to yourself and others, which is a good thing. I see things are um, working out on your side, um, but you may trying to stick to traditional ways and how and thinking that it has to be this way because it's always been done that way and it's like that you need to be more of a wolf and go after what you want because from what i'm seeing money is looking good things are on your side but you are not very confident in whatever is going on in your life right now you can flip this around simply by start being confident and really realizing that spirit is on your side and that and if it's rules that are making you not as confident then it's time to really be the wolf 
and stop following the herd of sheep because it's like there is this newness and money is looking good but it's like you're not fully confident in something and that's what's truly blocking this blessing of a time right now just from what i'm seeing you may not be confident because you may be working entirely too much or following others traditional ways and not truly building your own way hey pile number four so what i'm seeing is that you are struggling a little on faith um something may have happened recently that shook up your world and you are trying to put all the pieces together which i see that you are and you just have to have more trust because I believe all those things that fell apart that kind of shook your world up really allowed you to get your heart and your mind in balance. But you're not seeing that at this moment because you may be still thinking about the past and how everything happened in the past. But it's like you're being authentically true to yourself and it's time to realize that and realize that you are at this new foundational place and that you are being authentically true and that your heart and your mind are balancing out all because of this moment of things just falling apart and it most likely hurt because that change can hurt at times but it's time to start seeing that you are at this new foundational place and you have to start building off of that and stop being so stuck in your ways and i believe that that's why that change needed to happen was for you to start realizing how stuck you've been and you've been stuck for a little while and it's time to really start having faith and start creating something new. You got the passion, your heart and your mind are balanced and you're living authentically true. You're at a new foundational place and you have to start realizing it and realizing how much you have held yourself back in the past and really just start casting that shit away. Group number five, you are my special group. Thank you for coming here. So from what I'm seeing is that you are in a place of really just sticking to traditions and at this place of thinking like it always been this way, so I gotta do it this way. And hey, if you wanna live your life like that, that is cool with me. But I see you are at a good financial place where you are caring for your relationships and also caring about um, your job and your money. So I see that there is a good balance. I see that things are working out, but it always comes a but, right? But you going through a heartbreak and it's like those memories are constantly coming to your mind. You try to shut the memories down. You feel low. It's like you think about it every day or every other day and it's like you just don't know you're questioning everything because you are just you just you just don't know you don't know how you feel and something saying you don't know what you really like or who you really like but anyway you are not trying to face up to those dark deep emotions within you it's like they come and you try to push it away and it's like, that may be the reason for this heartbreak because it's like these things within you, you keep pushing down your desires in you. You keep pushing down those things that you want to do in your life. You keep pushing down and it's like you aren't fully having faith in them. And it's like you're shutting yourself down from the world and fully expressing yourself because it's like so many things and so many aspects of you that you want to express, but you shut them down and put them all in the box throw it in the corner and move on with your day. And it's leaving you heartbroken. I don't, and I wanna say it's from a relationship, but it's like you are doing it to yourself. Um, not even because of the relationship. Yeah, that relationship may have, have hurt you, but how much are you hurting yourself by not going after your dreams, by not living your desires, by just acting like, oh, I'm not good enough for that, so I'm not gonna do this, and you just shut down. You've been shutting yourself down, but it's time to realize that things are working out for you, but it's just that heartbreak that is hurting you, 
And this, and what's really truly holding you back is you not fully accepting those things that you want to do and the life that you want to have. You feel like you can't have it. So you shut yourself down. And like I said, you just throw it away and toss it to the side and act like it don't matter when it do matter. And it's hurting you. So it's time to fess up.